Okay. Ready? Yeah. Come okay. rolling. Yeah, come yeah. rolling. You're gonna clap. He has to clap. Who took the bath? Horror means to horrify, to shock, and to put yourself in the shoes of the character and feel the fear that they would fear. Welcome to Highgate Cemetery. This is where scenes from Dorian Gray were filmed. The horror thriller movie Dorian Gray, an adaptation of Oscar Wilde's famous book, The Picture of Dorian Gray, was filmed in this cemetery, where Dorian Gray, Ben Barnes, is given a speech for her funeral after his friend Basil's death. This new building was opened in 2011 and cost around £10 million to build. Highgate Cemetery is a place of burial in North London. There are roughly 100,000 people buried here across the cemetery. This alone is 37 acres of land. Between 1900 and 1920, supernatural themed films started becoming popular with filmmakers. If you were to watch an older horror movie today, say back in the 80s, in my opinion, I doubt you'll find it scary at all. Especially with all the clever visual effects such as CGI and green screens which are used, and how experienced makeup artists have gotten to this day. We then sat down with the up and coming horror director, Harry Scott, to talk to us and give us his thoughts on the horror genre. What fascinates you most about the horror genre? The thing that fascinates me most about the horror genre is the following. It is very much any horror film can be turned into a cult hit where it will gain an immense following and very devoted fans even though they tend to have such a small audience. Because it's a case of a lot of people have heard of different horror films but it's very rare that those people had then seen the horror film. But those that did see it saw them and loved them. They started adapting it into their culture, into the way they just sort of lived life and viewed life. What makes the horror genre as a whole unique is how it utilises the sound of silence to its advantage. Though the use of music isn't uncommon in this genre, the eeriness that minimal sound displays and clips accentuates the feeling of tension and uneasiness, which is what draws the audience in further into the horror genre. They implement the use of colouring and purposely making scenes more dreary and more numbed and bright colours. They also get an editor who has a strong understanding of the filmmaking techniques and conventions of the genre. What is your name and qualifications? <laughs> um, my name is Ben Rhodes. I am an associate lecturer at West Arts College with a BA in, in Film Studies and History with a focus on cult fandoms, uh, digital convergence and postmodernism. What makes a good horror film? Good horror film is one that gives the audience something to care about, both in terms of the story and the purpose um, and the development of characters. Um, I think a good horror film is where they create a relationship between the audience and the film, where the audience are not just scared for themselves and they're not just shocked and frightened for themselves, but also scared for the characters within the film as well. So it's a fear of what's going to happen to the characters more than what's going to pop up on, on, on screen next. In fact, another really good example is um, Haunting of Blythe Manor on Netflix. That was also an excellent, excellent example of horror done incredibly well. If you consider the fact that over the course of like 10, 12 episodes of the season, I'd say that there was only one individual point where I was outwardly and externally scared and frightened, where I jumped out of my seat as it were, once. I thought I said go back to bed. And yet, I still think it's one of the best horror productions made. 